Hello, I'm Mr. Brisella, and today we're going to be graphing uh, in college algebra using the My Math Lab, La uh, My Math Lab uh, graphing tools. First, we're going to start using the line tool. We are going to do this problem here, number four. We're given the linear equation. 5y equals 2x minus 10. We know it's a line because there are no uh, square root symbols, no exponents. Uh, you could write it in the form ax plus by equals c. So it's a line. And we're told give ordered pairs that are solutions and then graph the equation. So we have an xy table. And the first thing it says is Plug a zero in for x. Let's figure out y. If I put a zero here, we would have 5y equals zero minus 10, two times zero. So 5y is negative 10 divided by 5, and y is negative 2. Let me punch that in. Negative 2. Now, let's plug a zero in for y and figure out x. Five times zero is zero equals two x minus ten. So we need to move the ten over. We're going to solve this for x. So add ten to both sides or just move it over and change the sign and divide by two. So x is 5. And now we're going to graph using the graphing tool. I think it's best to blow up the graph, clicking right here. And then you have all the different tools over here. This talks you through it. Click the tool you're going to use first. If you hover your mouse over each tool, and it'll tell you, like right here, the line tool, absolute value tool, three point, or no, vertical parabola tool. Well, we have a line, so you click on line, and then you're, you're gonna plot the first point. Notice as you move the graph along, the mouse along, it's telling you which point is up there in the upper right, right up here. So we want to plot the point 0, negative 2. So I've plotted this point. Now I've got to plot the second point. You need two points to graph the line and Notice as I move the mouse around, there's all the different lines that pass through that point, zero, negative two. So I need to plot five up zero. There it is. Now, before you can check your answer, you say save, and that puts it on this graph. Now check answer. Let's try another one of these. 